into the Onyama mines. It is the biggest coal mine in the whole of Well, the coronation of the new Oni is a watershed in the history of the Yoruba land generally, and Ife in particular. Now, because they have a leader now, that will... Simply put, Gura is a beautiful countryside with awesome landscapes. If something differently will be done to the Nigerian textile industry, that our youth will be employed. We are taking a canoe tour of the communities on the bank of River Niger in Ketsu. The day was a Saturday. We were on the road early enough to catch up with the build up to Kwata Market. Early as we were, several were ahead of us. Multitudes are on their way. Kwata Market is both popular and different. From the onset, Kwata Market in Shururu, local government area of Niger State, stands out as the only one of its kind in the whole of northern Nigeria. The market is nowhere near formal human settlement. It is in the wilderness of Shururu country. It has no permanent base. It is a riverside market that is subject to the movement of a tributary of Niger River along Shiroro. The market thrives on products brought by over 100 communities that are along the river. Fish, livestock, wood and grains. The riverine communities have no means of access to the outside world than by water. But build up to the market begins early morning. It is initiated by people coming to the market from all over the north and beyond, either as traders, middlemen or buyers. Because of the makeshift nature of the market, there are no permanent market stalls. The market stalls are made up of collapsibles, which can be relocated immediately. <laughs> Morning does not give a picture of what the afternoon will look like in this market. The attendance is ready. There are, however, a group of women who told us they were on the market since 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm waiting for fish. I want to buy fish. From where? From Kota Shiroroda. Okay, where is the fish coming? Because I've not seen any sign of fish anyway. After. They are coming on the road. They are coming by boat? Mm. How, for how long have you been coming to this market? Mm? How, for how long have you been coming to this market? Since how many years? Okay, more than 30 years ago. We are here. More than. So, so if you buy the fish, you sell them all? If I buy the fish, I sell the fish. Some I will sell, sell it for, for here. Some I will carry it for, go, go for... No, okay, where are, you, where are you coming from? I'm coming from uh, Zumba. The river rain communities do not begin to arrive the market until around 10 in the morning. The atmosphere of the is such that all eyes are on them to begin arriving. The market has no shoal without them. The castle can the agitation be performed on sighting the first boat to this market. It put the traders right on age. This is perhaps the very first arrival from the water side. And many people are telling us here that as the day progresses, hundreds of them will be coming. Big ships, small boats, and all such like. So that is just it. So let us see what these people are coming with. The boat was received with the swarm. A mad rush ensued by the waiting traders to intercept its cargo of fish. Those waiting women who arrived since 5 o'clock in the morning were joined by many others. Hardly were the boat passengers given room to disembark. Mm -hmm. 
The first arrival spice of the market, item trading in fish begins. The Riba Bank is getting busier. There is a sequence to the manner boats arrive this market. The smaller boats carrying mostly fish and people will be the first to arrive. The middle tier boats, mostly conveying fish, wood and people, then follow suit. Well, this is a bigger arrival. And from the contents of it, you can see that it contains a lot of fish, which means the struggle for the fish will continue. Well, that is how it is going to be all day long. And in fact, buyers are all over. It turned out that this larger boat carried not only fish, but also wood. It anchored at the base where those traders who deal on fish only gather. The same scenario played out. When the boat is done with the fish stored, it navigates to wood section, another major area of trading activity to download its cargo. Water market is semi-specialized. It abides in the products the river rail communities could bring, and they are subject specific. Fish, wood, livestock, and grains. Each of these communities have a definite location in the market where extensive trading in them takes place. From the manner the products keep arriving from the waterway, it is easy to conclude that those river and communities are abundantly endowed. To think of fish first, before noon, over 30 boats arrive, all either fully loaded with fish or with rich fish cargo appendages. In time, the market becomes such a big basket of fish and different species. The river and communities do have a rich art of fish smoking too. Over 95% of the fish that arrive the market arrive smoked. Only a paltry 5 to 10 percent arrive fresh. While still on the subject of fish, there are various layers of buyers and sailors. The fish is mostly brought by women to the market. Many of these women have ready made customers who immediately on arrival sell to wholesale. There are many of these women who retail their fish too. They put down their stock and wait for the customers. Well, you can see an active trading activity going on here as people are coming to haggle purchase of fish from Mama Inusa. Mama Inusa, incidentally, is one of the people that are bringing the fish from the township. So we shall ask her. Mama Inusa? Mama Inusa? No. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good morning, sir. They, they, they tell me you are one of the people that are bringing fish from, 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 from this side, ba? For how long have you been doing this trade? Uh, I agree, I won't buy. For how long? For, Mama Inusa, tell me, for how long have you been doing this business? Well, Mama Inusa has no time for me because the business is engaging. There are categories of people too who arrive the market from different parts of the country to purposely buy fish here. They travel the distance because, in the words of some, the fish here is cheap big and most delicious. What keeps this market alive? Are hundreds of people that are coming from various parts of this country to buy fish and other items of trade that this market could provide. People like our local Sadiq here, who incidentally is living close by. But then he told me that for the last 10 years he has been coming to this market to buy fish and other items. Malan Awakar um, Sadiq. You are welcome, Sandy uh, Reporter. Uh, thank you very much. You told me that you have been coming to this market uh, for how long? I'm traveling from Mina. When I was even from Sulaja, I used to come here and buy fish very, very cheap. But as time goes on now, the fish that we used to buy at the rate of 1,200 here is now getting to 8,000, 7,000, 10,000. We don't know what happened. Okay. 
so th th there is fish? But there is fish, actually, even up to date. There is fish. But before, when I used to come here from, from about one to ten years, the chip was very, very cheap. But presently, the chip is, the fish is now high. We don't know what the situation is. Do you buy the fish to resell or do you buy it for your... Uh, 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 actually, I used to buy it for my own domestic use with myself, my, my wife and children. Okay. Just to go and eat, not to sell it. But this is you are close by. I've never seen a market like this one. This is not in town. It is on the riverside. Uh, uh, actually, this market, uh, river area. People come from Kaduna, people come from various places to come and buy items here. They come various places on Saturday. When you stay here later, you see a cow, dog, um, goat and other things. Livestock? Yes, livestock. But the account of workers said this market must have been very, very old indeed. But like I told you, it's a better feature. It's the fact that it is not in town. It is on a riverside. Various places used to come here, various people. Various people, and it's a makeshift market. As the river comes in, the market shifts. As the river comes in, the market shifts. There are middlemen too. People from various parts of the country whose life is to come to this market, buy from the direct suppliers and resell at the market. I you told me you came from Mina. Okay, you you want you are buying fish. Do you buy to sell or do you buy to eat? No, I buy to sell. Okay, so you are buying in bulk. Okay, it is. Sometimes you can sell for you. There's no such thing. I have to carry and go in and sell. Okay, so you can. If you, buyers do come here and buy, but you are buying from an agent. Why won't you buy from the people that are bringing it directly? She can not get it. Even though my girl customer for this, I buy that one. No go do me. I go ask for this one. Okay, but you break even. At the end of the day, you gain something. For how long have you been doing the business? If you are at the river side of this market, you may conclude that it is only a fish market. By one o'clock in the afternoon, the boats are arriving in numbers, fully loaded. Not a single boat arrived the market though without a cargo of fish. At a point I fear, the market may not map up the fish supply. At any rate, fish is the most prominent item of trade in the market. Quarter market has come a long way. By the admission of many of its patrons and beneficiaries, it was there for as long as they know. Nobody could give figures, no estimates. Well, midday is the time when quarter market is gaining momentum. But there is something special about it, like I've told you. The critical thing about this place is that the over 100 communities that are around this place, they do not have access road. So they have to come by water. And because the items of trade that they do, or the trade that they do, is so important to their lives, people from all over the state are coming to buy. I have a friend here, Mr. Friday Ogoke. Mr. Friday, although an Igbo man, Friday has been born and bred in this place. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So you are more or less like the product, the son of the soil. The son of the soil. Okay, you told me, say, you are born in this place? Yes. And that's uh, 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 that, that you are almost 25 years uh, by my estimation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 26. 26. Yes. And for how long have you been coming to this market? Since my primary six or primary five. Oh, okay. I've been coming. You come to buy fish or you to sell? In those days, we used to come and, you know, just like other people come to the market yeah. to see the market, just to do one or two mina jobs in the market because this only source of income that most of us as a youth we are not working so this is the place where we will spend most of our time to work you know to carry load to do other things for oh, okay so you carry load and do other things to so get some small money in yeah, this market why we are in secondary school in those days at least this is the only place we come out to do one or two things yeah. to help ourselves okay so now you come to the market still 
Um, but for now, yeah. things have changed for good. Yeah, they're obviously. So I'm no longer doing those mina joy again. Yeah. I'm there over the mina. So but now I come to buy fish for myself. Okay, so now you're a big man now. Uh, so, uh, okay. <laughs> so instead of you, you doing work for people who buy fish, now you are buying the fish for your own. For myself, because oh. since I know the route at which, okay, before you buy fish, this one, this one we get it. You have to buy from this person's hand before you will... You they are middlemen. Yeah, they are middlemen. Yeah. So many middlemen. Yeah. So me, I know the means at which I will buy my own fish without any middlemen. Okay, so you can buy direct and cheaper. Yes. But you say the people around this area, you say how many, around how many communities about, do you? About 100 communities. About close to 100 or thereabouts communities. And they say they don't have access road over, tell me, for all There's those things. There's no access road to go to that place now. There's no access road, only with water, water week. Okay, so you told me a story about their children. You say all the children who are coming to school, you say they have to come and board a place, they don't do day school. Mm, yes, yeah, most of, about 80 to 90 percent of their children schooled here. There's a place they call Zumba, Shiroro. So in that place, that is, they have primary, nursery, secondary. So most of the majority of the children to have a better education, they come to this place to school, and they will have a place where the mother or the the parent will, will, will rent a house for them and lodge them there. Every Saturday they will be, they will come to this place to collect food stock every Saturday, just to sustain the children. And it still works up to tomorrow. So many of them are here. Thank you very much, Friday. The son of the soil. So can you speak Igbo now? I can speak Igbo very well. <laughs> okay. So your parents taught you Igbo, mm. and you and you can speak Hausa or oh, Gwari. Very well. I can write Hausa. You can write Hausa. Very well. So it's like you will not go back to Enugu. No, I don't come to Enugu now. <laughs> at a point in our coverage, I had to just stick to the river side to marvel at how the boats keep arriving from the wilderness of these waters. At some moment. I fear that the market will close and the boats have not stopped coming. In the meantime, I can see Mama Yunusa is less busy now. See Mama Yunusa, the other time she could not talk to me because she was busy selling out her fish. Now she's much more relaxed. Her money is right there in her bag. Yes, Mama Inusa, you don't want to share your money with me. <laughs> okay, Mama Inusa, come. Tell me, where, where are you coming from? I, I can see you coming from this. How, how, how many kilometers from this place? How many hours do you spend to come to this place? Only one hour. One hour? And this is what you do every week? Yes, every market I come. And you, you sell? Now your family they do the fishing, or now you they do the fishing. Your children they do school. So where do you buy the fish? Where do you get the fish? Where do you get the fish? For the net, you know. Okay, you, you are doing the fishing? Yes. When the much bigger boats begin arriving the market, their cargo is no less show. Well, midday is the time when the big scanners arrive the market and when they come you can be amazed at their content no small boss can carry the content they carry and just to wonder that it's just a wooden canoe and just you can look at them now as they arrive inside them you will find cattle you will find grains you will find other livestock and of course you will find fish how interesting the big boats are long sleek and chic they mostly bring grains and livestock to the market. To imagine, they also bring tens of cows. I just wonder, should this big beast decide to be a ruling really midstream, what will be the consequence? Yet, they are brought to the market while they remain sober and somewhat docile throughout the trip. Most of the cows that are brought to the market are young. They are no fully grown bulls, no fat cow matriarchs. It may be the cattle market think of only those who rear the animals. It may be because of the rainy season, but the livestock market in Quata is not full this day. 
No so much active trading seem to be going on. The livestock feature cattle, sheep and goats. Chicken and bush meat make the numbers as well. I just wonder if these animals are not sold. Will the people who brought them carry them back home? Fulani are those directly involved with bringing the livestock to quarter market mainly. I tried to price a cow, and the price range is from 45,000 naira to 60,000. No single cow brought to the market that day was beyond 60,000 naira. From our position deep into the market, we could still make out more boats coming. I personally feel this market could be a tourist center of thought. There are scores of people that come to the quarter market to take advantage of it. Food vendors especially, from solid food vendors to snack vendors to hawkers of drinks. Wood market in Kwata is vibrant. It appears, however, only women are directly involved in the trade. It amazes me, however, why wood is such a lucrative item of trade here. More than 10 million sized boats arrive from the waters with full cargo of wood delivered to this woman. The team spirit with which the woman upload the boat reminds me only of spirited ants in a harvested cornfield. The whole section of Kwata market is in the top hierarchy of importance and not without reason. Vehicles of various sizes arrive the market to purposely hold wood. Industry watchers reassured me that by nightfall, the wood won't be there. It is all sold. By the way, wood is coming out from these riverine communities. I wonder what environmentalists will find out if they bunch it inside their settlements. In the meantime, I was just curious. The Bolivarian communities bring fish, livestock, and wood to Quata Market. Where do they take back home? Certainly, there are various products on display in the market which are meant to catch the attention of these people. But actually, what do they buy? Now, these people are those people who are coming from various parts of that Bolivarian communities. Now, they are coming here to the man who is selling guru. He is their customer. Now, it is not like when they bring goods, when they bring fish, bring livestock bring wood from their various localities they don't buy something to go backward they do and that's why there are various traders around this place that are bringing different kinds of merchandise that these people will buy and go backward cola nut is one of the things they buy so they are here this is the chief imam of Bari. Now, for your information, Bari is three about 120 kilometers away from this place. Then, changes will come. We gradually transfer to farming maize, rice, watermelon, sweet potatoes. Now fishing is only about three percent of our life. Mala in the community, on the other hand, is somebody who is bringing merchandise to the market and selling to these communities. Now, these are some of the merchandise. These are some of the things these people buy. Mana, what that they do? What do you say? Kayamu. He said for over 40 years he has been involved in this trade and here. And now over the years what he does, he always brings colonists. And the people, the river and communities will come and collect the colonists on loan. When it is another market day, they will pay what they have collected and they'll collect another one. And that, that's how they, they have been doing. And then there have been an independent between them, there has been trust, and even there have been marriage relationship between them. It has been a very fruitful relationship over time, and they have been enjoying it, and they have been happy. It was getting to 4 o'clock, and the boats have not stopped arriving. 
Looking at the market, it is full now at all seams. It is in full cruise. At a point, rain was interrupting its flow, but it moves on nonetheless. I scouted many of the boats to see whether there are signs of immediate return journey. They are near emptiness, tell me that not now, pal. I actually wanted to capture that scenario of the river rain communities going back home. I have my interest and anxiety, the beauty of the return, and what they carried back home. My anxiety is born out of the conviction that these boats are taking a night journey by water. Many will cover hundreds of kilometers on water, but their boats are open, and no single boat has a light facility. How safe are they? Actually, with the atmosphere liquid and night closing on me, I would not want to wait for the return. I would instead return to my base. In that wise, I followed my wise counsel with the dream that one day I would return to Quartar Market. <music> <music>